by and large, the industry's done a good job of adapting to increasing lifespans. The, uh, the, there's a lot of new data available. The industry's done a good job, I think, of uh, accumulating that data and reflecting it in the pricing and products and so forth. So by and large, uh, I, I think the industry's done a good job. Well, the whole idea of risk pooling is to have the best available data and then to use it objectively across large credible samples uh, of lives and to the extent that, that very valuable information becomes available but that that information isn't transparent to one party in the transaction that's going to create an unnatural market. So while we have to be very sensitive as an industry to issues around personal privacy uh, we also have to understand that there, there's working with the industry and regulators and consumer groups, we have to figure out a way for us to sensibly and sensitively use the new data that's becoming available every day on individual lives and their unique morbidity and mortality risks. I think any time you can be transparent about how we do what we do, that's positive for the entire industry and it's positive for consumers. So generally speaking, I would say yes. I understand that, that when you become more transparent that, you, that there's the prospect that you get uh, questioned on your methods, how, you know, your models, how you do business. But what, what we're finding right now actually in our business in the United States where we write retirement income products is that one of the drags on these products, one of the things that makes it difficult to get people to understand them, is the fact that we've made them so com confusing and, and so opaque. And we're, the industry, in, in some instances led by us, are introducing new products that are much clearer, much more transparent, much easier to understand, that, that make it clear to the consumer, this is exactly what I'm paying, this is what I'm getting for that, this is how this works. And I just, I think that has to be net upside, I really do. I do think that there will, there will continue. You'll see, you'll see uh, capital markets instruments evolve that will, you know, that will profit from address the, the longevity market. Uh, so yeah, I think there's actually quite a lot of potential for that going forward.